Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Erin and today is book review Friday. I'm sure you guys know this already like I keep saying it but like I've been doing book review Friday since like I started my channel so you guys should know. But this is Sour Candy by Keelan Patrick Burke. So if you remember last week's was Blanky by Keelan Patrick Burke. Like you guys should know I'm going to be doing Keelan Patrick Burke for a hot minute because I have about three more books by him so just hang tight if you don't like him I'm sorry but um he's got some really good books so this is called sour candy and let me just tell you I think this I mean I haven't read all of his books I'm on the third one so far but I got two more and so far this one is my favorite this one is it's crazy honestly like I it's a crazy book so Let's talk about the cover so it is the soft matte touch which I love you guys know this it is a red with some black and it's got this um this creepy guy on it you know I love his little skull head he's very cute very scary so yes I really like the cover I think it looks cool it's very intriguing I think ugh, I have a hair all over my face I'm sorry there okay 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 so I think he's very creepy so it makes me want to pick up the book so let's talk about the back so it says at first glance Phil Pendleton and his son Adam are just an ordinary father and son no different from any other they take walks in the park visit county fairs museums and zoos any together overlooking the lake some might say the father is a little too accommodating given the lack of discipline when the child loses his temper in public some might say he spoils his son by allowing him to set his own bedtimes and eat candy whenever he wants. Some might say that such leniency is starting to take its toll on the father, given how his health has declined. What no one knows is that Phil is a prisoner and that up until a few weeks ago in a chance encounter at a grocery store, he had never seen the child before in his life. <laughs> so when I read the back of this book, I was like, what are you talking about? So let's talk about what the book is is about so <clears throat> Phil it starts out with Phil at the grocery store he is buying candy for his girlfriend they're going to like stay in bed and eat junk and have a good time so he's buying all this candy for her like a bunch of chocolate a bunch of candy a bunch of everything and he's on the phone with her talking and when this happens he starts hearing this like screaming noise and so he's like what's happening like why is there screaming and so he like looks over and there's this kid with his mom like screaming his head off I mean he is screaming like bloody murder so even his girlfriend I'm pretty sure her name is Lisa on the phone is like what's going on is like everything okay like what's happening and he's like yeah some kids like screaming it's like really freaking weird like I don't know what to do but he's just you know continuing to get his candy and whatever and the scene gets weirder and weirder like this woman is like just like standing there like this mom she's just like like weird but she looks like haggard she looks like really sick she looks like she's been up for like five years and never slept so everyone in the store is just kind of like staring at them right they're kind of like what the heck is happening and like there's an altercation and whatever. So Phil decides to leave. Um, he does speak to the boy at one point. He's like, hey, like, what's up, little kid? You know, like, whatever. Like trying to be like friendly even though this whole altercation just took place. So he leaves and he's gonna go to a different store to get the candy because he's just freaked out. So he's back in his car and he's driving home to Lisa and he's talking on the phone with her and he's like, yeah, it was really weird, but I got you candy, don't worry. And while he's on the phone, on the phone, he gets rear-ended, and he's like, "Oh crap! I got into a car accident. Like, I'll just like a fender bender. Like, I'll call you later, whatever." And I mean, he gets like not like severely injured, but I mean, he's got like I think a few broken ribs or whatever. So what had happened is someone rear-ended him, which made him rear into the other person. So he got out, and the his car took a lot of damage, and the one that slammed into him took a lot of damage. So people are, like, helping him out. They're like, are you okay? There's an ambulance coming, like, whatever. And they, like, sit him down on the side, like, away from the wreckage and stuff. And, um, you know, they're like, 
trying to make sure everyone else is okay. And the woman from the store gets out of the car that slammed into him. And he's like, oh my God, like she had a kid in there. So she, he's telling people like, hey, she had a kid. I saw her at the store. Like you should make sure the kid's okay. And like the kid wasn't in there. And this lady starts walking to him like all like, you know, like she's like, Ugh, cause she just like, you know, got into a car accident, I guess. And she's like acting weird. And so she walks up to him and he thinks she's gonna like kill him because like he saw her previously. So he waits till she gets there and all she says is he's yours now and then throws something at him. And it's like these sour candies, which was part of the altercation at the store. So he's like, that's weird. So when the police come, he's telling them the story and all this stuff and the police are just not believing him. The police are like, you know, you're acting weird, like we don't believe you, whatever, whatever. And he's like, look, I've told you this story like six times, I don't know what you're talking about. And they're like, well, um, the lady that you're talking about never had a kid. She's never had a kid. Like, we don't know what you're talking about. There was no kid. We checked with the grocery store you know, whatever, like, you're being weird, and he's like, what are you talking about, and he's like, well, this, the, the kid that you're talking about was at your house, we went by your house to check on your girlfriend, and she wasn't there, but the kid answered, the exact kid that you described at, from the store, and he's like, this is not possible, and they're like, well, we think it is possible, we think you're, like, being weird and all this stuff, so they get to his house, and the kid's there, and the kid's calling him daddy and acting like he's his kid and Phil is freaking out and he's trying to tell the police officers that, you know, it's not his child, like this is not what happened and all this stuff and the police don't believe him, which I will say this is one of my worst things when I read books is when there's a person that's acting crazy and like no one believes them. But like it's true and you as a reader know it's true because you know it's happening with the person. You and the main character know what's going on but no one believes the main character so you're so frustrated because you know it's true and no one will believe them. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is because like I just hate feeling like I'm also crazy because they're crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I feel crazy for them because I'm like no it's true like I saw it too like I read it I know it's happening but like you know it's a book so. Anyways, this book made me very like, because I was like, just wanted to scream that like it was real. But they get to the house and there's pictures of this kid and him all over his house. Like they've lived together forever. I mean, everyone knows he's had a kid. Like his, the neighbors know he's had a kid. His ex-wife knows he's had a kid. His girlfriend knows he has a kid. And she broke up with him because of the kid thing. Like it's, it's crazy what's going on. Like just no one believes him and it's like this kid has been a part of his life for years and it's not true so he feels like he's going crazy and no one believes him and this kid's in his house and it gets weirder after that after he finally convinces the police officers basically like he forgot his child because of the car accident and it was just like a rough accident kind of thing or whatever so he you know talks to the kid and the kid's just like hi daddy da -da, you're my daddy uh. and this kid only eats these sour candies but like they're just filled in his house like he he can't he doesn't have any other food everything in his house is filled with these sour candies his fridge is filled his cabinets are filled pantry everything his whole kitchen just has these sour candies in it and the kid just lives off of those and he gives them to Phil too and Phil like kind of goes to another realm when he eats it he like it's really scary like he goes and he meets these like things these scary guys they're called um the elders that's what they're called these things are called the elders and he meets them and the sour candy like takes him there and it's like I would consider it like hell basically like that's where he takes them and basically this kid just like sucks out this guy's energy like the candy makes him like obviously he's starving because all he's eating is candy and water um he has no nutrition this kid lives in like this attic like he can't sleep like it's just like a thing like he's losing all his like energy and all his like strength and then yeah basically i don't want to say anything else because i don't want to give away the ending the ending <sighs> The ending made me mad 
Okay, the ending was good. I liked the ending. I thought it was a good ending. However, it did make me slightly mad because it's one of those endings where the person thinks they solve everything and then they didn't, and that makes me mad. But um, I thought the ending was funny because it ties in the police officers back in because the police officers were really annoying, honestly. Like, I d could not stand them. But it ties them back into the ending and, like, it's really funny. Like, in that aspect, I, I thought it was a good ending. It just made me mad because, like, there was, like, no real resolution, if that makes sense. The, resolu the ending wasn't a resolution, it was a continuation, if that makes sense. Like, everything's gonna continue. Nothing's gonna get better, it's just gonna keep going, if that makes any sense. I don't wanna give too much away, but the police of officers get tied into it again, which I think is funny because I didn't like them, so I liked that they got tied into the ending because they got what they deserve, so that's all I have to say. Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I can say about this book because... I don't want to give too much away. It's such a short book. It's only like, what, like 70 some pages? Yeah, like 74. I don't want to, I can't give too much away because I'll just be giving away everything. But honestly, this was so good. If you're like me and you like love slash hate those books where people are crazy and you can't prove that they're innocent, <laughs> then this is one that you might really like. Plus, I just think the idea is very unique and intriguing and it's just very like fresh in the horror genre. And I just, I appreciate that because the horror genre is such a, um, they're all the same most of the time. There's not too much you can do different. Um, there are certain authors that just know how to do different, different things, like different ideas. And I think Keelan Patrick Burke is one of them that just knows how to do different horror and it doesn't sound the exact same every five seconds, which I appreciate because then it gives me the ability to read new stories, which I find and I love. So I highly recommend this one. I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. It was so, so good, so crazy, so insane, so fascinating, very fast paced, very easy to get into. I really, really, really enjoyed this book. So if you have read, oh, I just hit myself in the face. If you have read Sour Candy or this sounds like something you want to read, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in my next video.